what I think is valuable for people to know about the, the Thinking Classroom is that although it is a great opportunity to provide content in an engaging way, it does extend beyond that where stu students are active participants in the learning, where they're collaborating with their peers and they are adding on to conversations and they really truly have their voice as part of the learning, which fosters the well-being and does really create a greater sense of community in the classroom and within the, the school as well. I implement rich tasks in my science classroom by asking open-ended questions that relate to the topic that we're studying but make the students think about what we're about to learn. I like working at the whiteboards better because I feel like I can make mistakes and be able to erase it easier and the activities are typically more fun and I typically learn better if I'm bouncing off ideas with other people. Just the collaboration aspect I really enjoy. The benefits of my students working in random groups each day is they have the opportunity to work with people that they usually don't work with. What I really appreciate is for my multilingual lingual learners uh, to have the opportunity to use language uh, while they're learning and feel comfortable practicing the use of English uh, or sharing their own cultural backgrounds in uh, those groups. Um, I get to uh, know a lot of people actually, like my classmates, I get to know their personality and uh, of course learn the subject much better instead of just sitting in a chair and listening to teacher for hours. It's, uh, it's really helpful actually for students who are from other countries and like their English isn't great so it actually helps us in speaking, listening and of course, um, yeah. Vertical non-permanent surfaces are spaces where our students make their thinking visible. So usually in our class when um, our teacher Ms. Haley uh, tells us to do group work at whiteboard, she usually tells us to uh, ask questions like maybe um, what meaning of maybe what books are, maybe some type of like contacts in the book, kind of finding motifs, um, like contact literal devices and all that metaphors. I try to have like maybe like have text to self connections or maybe text to world. And we try to, we usually try to like maybe work together, put our maybe for my group, group members, we try to like put all our different like thoughts together and try to create like a, just a full statement about something that we learn about. I believe the Thinking Classroom is a vital tool in our educators toolbox. We've seen over the last five years, especially our students have been learning differently, interacting differently, and they are engaged in a world that's ever changing. For our professionals in the classroom, they need to uh, have this opportunity to witness our students learning as it is happening. And the Thinking Classroom allows the, especially with the vertical um, whiteboards that are being used to see and witness that learning happening on the spot. So being able to create the holistic view of our students in terms of, you know, seeing the observations, the conversations, and then finally the product of their learning in the end.